Alaska Congressman Jeff Fortenberry has announced he will resign from his first district seat in the House of Representatives. Good evening. I'm Sarah Feely. Thanks for joining us. The resignation comes after Fortenberry was convicted in California Thursday of three felony charges for lying to the FBI about an illegal 2016 foreign campaign contribution. In a statement today, Fortenberry thanked Nebraskans for entrusting him with the responsibility of governing the nation. He says he hopes he made a contribution to the betterment of America and the well-being of Nebraska. He also says, quote, due to the difficulties of my current circumstances, I can no longer effectively serve. I will resign from Congress effective March 31st. The pressure's on for county election officials in Nebraska's 1st Congressional District. Fortenberry's vacancy will force a 1st Congressional District special election during the state primary election. Now, candidates are announcing their intentions to run, and Alex McClune has those details from the newsroom. Alex. Sarah, S State Senator Mike Flood will seek the Republican nomination, and State Senator Patty Pansing Brooks plans to do the same for the Democratic Party. I plan to show up and, and be a part of this. I'm in this to win it. Candidates for the 1st Congressional District are gearing up to pull double duty, running in the special election created by Fortenberry's resignation and the primary set for May. We're still trying to figure out all the, the laws and what, what is going to happen. And I know that the Secretary of State's office is figuring out exactly what will happen and what the requirements are. Pansing Brooks will seek the Democratic nomination, while fellow State Senator Mike Flood will seek the Republican nomination for the special election, saying in a statement, quote, I want to thank Jeff Fortenberry for his many years of honorable service and working together, we will keep this seat in Republican hands. This is the we met Nebraska's Secretary of State at his office in the state capitol. Bob Evnen spoke to Fortenberry about the resignation Saturday, which is effective Thursday, March 31st. Evnen says state law requires the governor to call a special election within 90 days to fill the vacancy left by the soon to be former congressman. What is unusual about this circumstance is that we don't often have a vacancy created by a resignation in the Congress. We've not had that uh, in our state that I'm aware of. Evnen says it'll be an unusual election and a blemish to Nebraska's history. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the Fortenberry family. And uh, meanwhile, we're going to go about the business of filling that vacancy. The governor has yet to call that special election, but when it's called, it will determine the first congressional representative from the date of that election through January 2023. The primary and general elections will determine who fills the seat effective January 2023. Sarah, back to you. Alex, thank you. And we reached out to Nebraska's congressional delegation after Fortenberry's announcement. District 2 Representative Congressman Don Bacon said he respected Fortenberry's tough but right decision to resign from his position, adding he wishes him and his family the best. And District 3 Representative Adrian Smith said, quote, this is a difficult time for Jeff and his family, but I know he did the right thing by resigning. Now, Fortenberry faces up to five years in prison on each of the three felony convictions, though supervised release is an option that the judge can consider. You can read his letters sent to Congress and his constituents right now in the KETV mobile app.